Can you believe what we found in our $1,600 VMAX? That has to be the biggest wasp nest ever. Oh, God. Well, time to get it off. Here we go. Here we go. About to get it off on camera, guys. Man, hopefully a ton of wasps don't come out of it. But that's why, guys, uh, you know, I take my time to go through these bikes. You know, uh, this is the same night that we bought it, and I'm going through the bike. And thank God I did, because we'd be waking up to wasps yes. inside of our house. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go, baby. Three, two, one. Jesus. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Oh dear, that's, that's huge, bro. Got the VMAX torn down, guys. And uh, let me show you what we found, because I've never seen such acid on a battery before. Yeah, this is crazy. Look at how much acid is on the positive side of the battery. Doesn't that look yummy? <laughs> that is disgusting, guys. That looks so gross. We also found another wasp nest, too. And it was a lot bigger than the first one. So uh, I'm going to assume that for the 10 years uh, that this was sitting, it was sitting outside. Yeah. Because uh, I'm having to go through this entire bike tonight. Obviously, anyone's ever seen so much acid, let it, let me know in the comments. I've never seen that bad of an acid buildup um, on a battery before. So, but yeah, guys, we almost have her showroom clean. Literally, Dude. we got two uh, wasp nests uh, off of uh, off of this. One was almost a football size, <laughs> and then the other one I'd say uh, was a baseball size. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, that's really about it. A couple water bugs and, um, that's it. Yeah. And these are the three wasp nests that we found inside our 96 V max guys. Uh, this is exactly why you don't leave a bike outside. Oh, God. Look at that. Ew. These are the size of like a, I would say a baseball. Like this is my fist. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's crazy. Look at that. But that's exactly, guys, uh, why I go through all of the bikes uh, thoroughly. I mean, you know, I strip them all the way down uh, the night of. So pretty much as soon as they come in the house, I strip them down. Yes. Because just because of this, you know, if you're Ugh. if you're lazy, you know, you could end up waking up with one hell of an infestation. And at the at the same time, you wouldn't even want this inside of your garage no. if you truly care about that space. You see. So, so it's very good whenever you purchase a used bike to uh, tear her down and, uh, you know, just make sure that she's clean. Make sure she has no infestation. We also found uh, four water bugs. Ugh. They're no longer alive. <laughs> now we're about to go through all the spare parts that I was given. Let's see what we have to bring back our 96 VMAX. Let's do it, baby. I was telling my wife that the, um, the bike itself for the price at 1600 was enough. So any spare parts are a blessing. <laughs> so this here looks like uh, obviously throttle, where the throttle cables go. Okay. You see? Yeah. So this is the little actuator that goes into the carburetor. So we'll set that down. What else do we have here? These look like floats. Okay. Yep, these are floats here. And wow, oh, wow. never ending jets. Uh, jets. <laughs> That's a ton of jets. That's cool. Man, we have, like, parts to, like, you know, forever. Forever, baby. What else we have here? More carburetor parts. All carburetor parts. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. Okay. And what do we have here? Oh, my goodness. A spare oh fuel pump. Babe. We got a brand new fuel pump, guys. That's nuts. Wow. That, dude, this was the best deal Ever. Ever. Okay? Ever. We literally have all the replacement parts it looks like that we need. I'm seeing carbs down here. Oh my. There's the Dino Jet Jet Kit here. Let's see, wow. there goes more carburetor parts. What else do we have here? Let me see. Oh man, we have it. Literally full carburetor still, still wow. here. So that's good. Because I was thinking, you know, that it possibly uh, was all... You remember I told you, I was thinking it was possibly all in pieces. Yeah. You know? So this makes it a little... Full together cars. Wow. Yeah, it makes it a little easier to put back together, obviously. Wow. That's perfect. So we have these two. Obviously, there's a total of four carbs that you need for the bike to run. 
And uh, you remember he did say the valve body was messed up on yes. one of these. So it would make sense that the person would would uh, keep these two together right. right now after he found out that the problem was in this one. Yes. You see? Obviously. That's so that's why that's why the original owner undid the these two carbs. Clearly the problem lies. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and assume yeah, in I'm this carb, that one, yeah. seeing that uh, the rest of these carbs are still uh, fully bolted up, you know. So yes, man, yes. these things are heavy. They got a little <laughs> weight to them. That's awesome. Wow, we got brand new gaskets. Oh wow. Yep, brand new gaskets. So that's good. And that those are carburetor uh, gaskets right there for the float. Okay. So that's awesome. What else do we have here? More carb parts. Wow. Wow. Uh, this is the float bowl and the top to this one. So this is all the parts to this one. That's crazy. So we'll keep we'll keep this bag with, with that, that with that carb. What else do we have? My gosh, it's never ending yeah, jets. That's nuts. I mean, we probably have like close to if I had to guess fifty jets, fifty different jets right now, sixty jets. That is insane. These are the boots. Okay. Here. Yeah. This is a diaphragm. You see this here? Oh, I see. This here is a diaphragm, and over time, these these create uh, leaks. You know where okay. they where they where they tear and they need to be replaced. Yeah. Um. So that was one, and that would make sense because that diaphragm was sitting in in in, in this. Yeah. So this is pretty much. Low-key kind of this box parts too. <laughs> the next box. And uh, in that white box, uh, the guy, he actually gave us a battery. Yes. Just so you guys know. That's a brand new battery brand in that new. white box right there. So pretty much we have everything to bring this bike back. That's crazy. That's pretty nuts. Listen here. It's starting to look a little more decrepit the <laughs> deeper I get in this box. More carburetor parts. Just a ton of jets, needles, springs. Okay, what in the world? Oh, wow, goodness! Ton of diaphragms. Wow. Yeah, diaphragms you remember? You remember the guy said that he bought a lot? Yeah. Off of eBay. Wow. It was like sixteen of These them. These almost something. look like perfect diaphragms, all in this right, all That's in this bag. Crazy. And obviously, you see the needles yeah. uh, attached to them to the bottom Ooh. of the diaphragms. So, what else do we have here? More. Wow. More carburetor parts. Obviously, float bowls and yep, float bowls caps and, and, and caps. <laughs> Man, this I pretty much have enough parts to to fully assemble my own spare carburetor. Right? Wow. That is insane. Wow. Gas tank looks like it did when it came out of the factory, guys. Look at how amazingly clean our 1992 V Max is. That's crazy. Yep. You can actually see all the way down to the bottom. No rust. No rust. Mm -hmm. Now, our other VMAX, our 96, it's so full of rust that we can't see anything down in there, even with a light. So that'll definitely need to be replaced. Now, let's go ahead and put our intruder together. All bad. Look at that. Oh, time to replace the gas tank. So we only paid $70 for this, guys. 70 bucks, you heard that right, Shemdi. Exactly, Shemdi. <laughs> I bought this brand new from Amazon. Yes. And the reason that we went this route is because um, all of the Intruder 800 gas tanks that are used on eBay are pretty much trash. Yeah. And everybody still wants an arm and a leg for them. You see, nasty. and uh, most of them for sale, they actually are full of rust. Yeah. So um, uh, there, uh, another YouTuber, he gave me this idea. He's already done the Rebel 250 gas tank swap to the Intruder 800. Okay. Now, what he did versus what I'm going to do, I'll explain now. Uh, he did a lot of welding and a lot of cutting. Yeah. Um, you know, with what we're doing, there will be no welding. And we're going to be doing just a little bit of cutting with our Dremel, uh, you know, if we if we do any cutting at all. Yeah. Uh, so that's the difference. Um, and then my fuel setup is completely different from his. 
Um, I feel like mine is definitely more, it's easier to do, which I'll explain uh, later in the video. My, my fuel setup is, it's so easy a 15 year old or even a 10 year old could set it up. Right. And in the way that he did his gas tank set up, you, you pretty much have to be a mechanic and have like a ton of special tools, yeah, you know? Yeah, you have to be a welder. Yeah, you pretty much need to be a welder yeah. <laughs> or have the welding, you know, materials yes. to do the the setup the way he did it. The way that we're doing it, I'm making it to where anyone can do this pretty much from the comfort of your home, and you know, and, and you don't even need any welding material. Exactly. Uh, but before we actually uh, dive into the Rebel 250 gas tank swap, um, I'm going to actually install the new spark plugs, and we have the bike's new oil filter and oil. And for anyone uh, who's wondering, the part number to the intruder, 800 spark plugs, the NGK part number's right there, DPR8EA-9. All I run is NGKs. First thing we're gonna do is install our new spark plugs. The only specialty tool that I have sitting in front of me is this out of my VMAX 1200. As every single spark plug socket that I tried to use to get the old plugs out, uh, it didn't work for me. Uh, luckily, I had my OEM um, toolkit from my VMAX. So we're going to come up here. I've already removed the old spark plug. Check the gap on the new plug. <laughs> and let's go ahead and hook her in the VMAX tool like so. Drop her on down in there. And start tightening her up. All right, that's tight by hand. So now we're gonna put our spark plug tool in here and take our 22 millimeter and start tightening our spark plug. Obviously, you're gonna make sure that you don't over tighten the plug or you're gonna have major problems on your hands. It never needs to be over overly torqued down there. That right there is just fine. Spark plug two. Let's go ahead and get her changed. Here we go. And tighten that and suck her down. That's good. She ain't going nowhere. Next on our list is to get our gas tank mounted up. Um, obviously, we have the mounts that me and my wife got from Home Depot over there. Um, those mounts are just thick enough that we're able to somewhat alter them and bend them. Yeah, uh, but like flexible. I said, they're they're pretty thick. Um, next, we have the gas cap that actually uh, was purchased for this here. Came with the key. That's pretty good. Uh, these pet cocks you're not going to want to use. These are the pet cocks that would just screw into the bottom uh, of the uh, gas tank. Yeah. Uh, the outlet on these are way too small. Uh, they're literally made just to flow enough gas for like a 250cc motorcycle. Yeah. So I had to do a lot of research when it came to the fuel system for this motorcycle. Um, to show you the fuel system and how that works, I have to actually mount the gas <laughs> tank. So let's go ahead and test fit. This will be the first test fit of our gas tank. Yes, sir. Let's see, everything should mount very smoothly, almost effortlessly. Oh, Perfect. Wow. Right in the place. Dang, she looks good on the bike too. Yes, ma'am. The only thing that I can tell little mama yes. that I'm gonna have to do is I don't like how far these are sticking out here. I'm gonna yeah. have to trim this off. I'm gonna stay as close to the back side of the circles. Definitely. Just to leave myself enough metal to drill yeah. for our mount for our to actually to get hooked up. Yes, ma'am. Um, right now, let me see, let me go ahead and grab the seat just to get a better look at this. Like I said, everything should fit pretty much just like OEM. Right. And look at that. Ooh. Seat bolts down, or it goes down right into place perfectly. That's crazy. Wow. And it actually looks perfect. 
That looks so yeah. good. So now to explain the fuel system that is so easy, a child can do it. Yes, sir. So first things first, we'll start with our one half hose. Okay, that's, that's actually gonna go directly into the gas tank here. So we're literally just gonna push that straight up in there and then we're gonna use a clamp to clamp that. Once uh, this is hooked up, we're gonna start running down here, okay? That's where we're gonna drop, this is a fitting here that drops from one half to three eighths. So obviously we're gonna hook that up, clamp it, clamp it. Now we will be installing our rubber three eighths uh, see-through hose. Um, I wanted this just so that I can make sure that my um, fuel was always flowing. Yeah. You know, I want to be able to see it. Exactly. Um, so pretty much um, once we have dropped down from the fitting, we hook up our, our actual clear hose. And this is the perfect time to talk about uh, how we're going to be obviously turning our fuel on and off as we're no longer using a traditional pet cop. Exactly. So I had to do a lot of research, guys. <laughs> and my research led me to a company called Pingle. Yes. And um, this right here is literally the best bang for your money. Nice and heavy, uh, chrome. Uh, and I can tell you, I actually reached out to the company um, and I asked them if this would flow more than enough fuel for the intruder's engine. They said that uh, this is actually made for carbureted race bikes and that this will exceed my expectations. Ooh. So I went ahead, I spent the extra dollars and I got uh, this very nice, uh, very, very, very nice pingle uh, on off switch. So yeah, that's going to be mounted somewhere around here. That's where the, that's where the clear hose goes in. Obviously, um, after that, you'd hook up the other end of the clear hose here and we continue our journey to the fuel pump. But before you arrive to your destination, you have to install yes. the pingle fuel filter. Hello, okay. Baby. Had to get the matching pingle fuel <laughs> filter guys. Uh, obviously, I wanted to make sure that we were flowing just as much fuel as the on-off switch was, so yes. I, I wanted to get the fuel filter. I hook up the clear hose, obviously, to this end, and then we'll hook it up to the other end, which would then connect to the uh, bottom of our fuel pump. Yes. Now, I'm going to be removing this OEM hose, guys. Uh, I still have it in place right now, obviously. Uh, but all of this is going to get removed. It has a lot of damage and it's really hard and old. Yeah. So um, we're literally doing an entire fuel system refresh to this motorcycle. A brand new gas tank, a brand new uh, on off switch, which is pretty much now your pet cock. Yep. It's just in line with, mm -hmm. the, uh, with, with the hoses. And you have your beautiful um, fuel filter to, yes, to, to flow just the same amount of fuel as your pingle on off switch. Uh, you know, so like I said, it makes this literally so easy that a kid could hook this up, right? you know, on the fly. And so uh, that's what makes this night and day, uh, you know, just so easy to do. If, if you have an intruder and your gas tank is all bad, you know, this makes the, you know, uh, installing the Rebel 250 gas tank a breeze. Yes, sir. So those are the parts that you would need. Um, as you can see, she looks gorgeous with the gas tank. Yes, she does. This is exactly how the intruder's gas tank sits. Uh, like I said, I will need to use my Dremel to cut this. I will drill a hole here, yeah. and me and my wife, we're actually gonna be using the brackets to mount the gas tank. We're also gonna be using brackets to mount the gas tank back here. Now that the gas tank is fully mounted, um, all that's left is for me to install the fuel system. Really no reason for me to do that on camera as I have already pretty much shown you guys how that's gonna be routed. I would say the most important part of the video was me showing you guys what parts you specifically need to install the fuel system, obviously, yeah. uh, to your, to your uh, intruder um, 800. Um, but neither than that, guys, uh, the next video will be an unveil video. I actually plan on doing a theme to this bike. Woo! And then um, we're going to go ahead and do a test ride inside of like a parking lot. Uh, when it comes to these older bikes, I want to I wanna go through them a little more thoroughly. I'll go ahead and sit on the bike now to go ahead and see how it feels. Oh, oh yeah. man. I like that a lot, lot. Oh, she looks so good. That's definitely the exact same as the Intruder gas tank for sure. Yes. Sir. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. And I can tell she's not going anywhere. Ooh. All right, guys. We love you all. We appreciate the support. Peace. Peace.